Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Gomer Plays Undertale. The last time we met with... Well, well, we, we kind of... Let's see, the past couple of times we've battled with, with Papyrus and beat and bested him. We didn't kill him. And I have since learned I could have actually spared Toriel at the beginning, so I feel kind of, kind of bad now. And as punishment, I'm going to call her Cell. Dialing. But nobody came. Because she is dead because I killed her. I am a dick. Actually, I just didn't know, but still. Hi! I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Eh, sure, why not? Ooh, nice. Lots of red. There's gotta be some kind of hint or secret in here, though. It's not really much, but... Hey, you know... Uh, well, eh, nothing there, really. Really? Sands! Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. I didn't pay anything. Hi. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? I wouldn't recommend either of those things. Those are, not only are they a little too big, they're a little too hot. Can you kill it? Theoretically. Are you a star? No. Oh, it's in here. Hey, how you doing, bud? I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Okay. Nice cream. Eh, sure. Cards in the box. Let's get a second one. I'll probably need them. Uh, how many are in the box? Two cards. Take a card? Yes. One cards. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice cream! Yes, and one more card, and I can get a free one, too. A punch card. Three punch cards! It's free! Sweet. So, what I wish I knew they would do, they probably... Oh, wait, info. Here we go. Heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Aww. Okay, so I have some healing items if I need them. Okay. Uh, what's down here? What's in here? Ooh, nice. Hello, hello. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? I have a wish. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh, come on. Unless you wish... Hi? Hello, this is Papyrus! Oh, hi. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... Murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a bandana. So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. <laughs> it pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Um, are you sure? Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Yep. Hmm. Hi. Mold Smalls. Oh, hi. Hey, can I mercy them already? Okay, I can spare them. I don't even have to do anything. I just spare their fuck those fuckers. They just go sit there being all curvaceous like. like hey. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Well, unless your wish is for everybody of a particular race to die, then yeah, it's not stupid. Power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh. Hi. Wosha and Eren appear. You ask Wosha to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean! 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 shit. There we go. Oh! Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Come on. Come on in. The water's fine. Holy shit. Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Me. Mm. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> we flex. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's nothing homoerotic about this. Flex harder. Nice. I won't lose, though. This is very homoerotic. Which is kind of weird because I'm a child. Shoot. Tell him to go away. You'll change your mind. Um, no, I won't. I want you to go away. Eh. Eh. Flex. He flexes very hard. He <laughs> flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Those don't look ominous at all. Um. Hi. What are you? You are huge and... Hey. Three are there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you hear? Okay, Onion-san. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Oh, God damn it. You, you, are, are you... Are you... Higsby, did you write this scene? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Okay. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Oh. And the aquarium's full uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... I uh, that's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Uh. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! Okay. Hey, you know what? Waterfall, tu waterfall Tourism Board. There you go. Uh, hi. Sh Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Smile. Gets quieter in the corner. <laughs> Toot! What do we have? Oh, hi. Whoa. Siren pretends to be a hot pop idol. Conduct. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Oh, dear. Toot. Um, is that what this is? is are these electric attacks? Pretends to, be, pretends to be a pop idol. Oh, there we go. Siren, Siren. No, wait. Siray, Siray. Much more comfortable singing along. Ah, we'll spare you now. Yay! The northern room hides a great treasure. Ooh, treasure! Why do I have... Oh, hey, a piano. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Hmm. There's a piano here. Play it? Sure. Okay, cool. So that's how we play the piano here. Hmm. Its power is no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would indeed would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Hmm. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster soul is strong enough to persist after death. Does it mean Toriel might come back? That would be nice. If only for a few moments. Oh. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. 
I'll watch. I'm going to be the first human to absorb a monster soul, aren't I? Hi. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Hmm. Please take one. What is it? Take an umbrella? Sure. I have an umbrella. Let's take it back to this statue. <laughs> Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. Yay! Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Music continues and doesn't stop. Yay! Okay. So let's move on. Ooh, this looks kind of spooky. And ominous. Hi! Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either? You're walking anyway. I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I gave it to that statue back there. Of course, I probably could have picked up another one, but sorry. Then again, I didn't know I was going to pick up this little fella. Man, Undyne is so cool. Oh, yeah. You're the kid that looked like she stabbed in the head. <laughs> oh, she beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Um... Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> um. Okay. And walk, and walk, and walk, and walk, and walk. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. Was he named Flowey? The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> of course, because isn't that what every child fantasizes? No. Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. That sounds like a key. Well, I'm hardly innocent. I had to kill Toriel. Or I thought I did. Hi. Um. Oh. I thought we. I thought we had entered a cutscene. <laughs> Hi. Okay. This is cool. I wonder what that castle is. Now let's get an umbrella. Yes, I will take an umbrella. Hey, buddy. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. You want to see Undyne? Right? Oh, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Oh, okay. Let's return it. Climb up on his shoulders. Hey, there we go. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> okay. Oh, a save point. Humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Bet you they were all white. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Yay! <laughs> uh, in the end, it could hardly be called a war. More like a curb stomping, really. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken. Countless monsters were turned to dust. Jeebus. Yeah, you can stop reminding me what I had, but I felt I needed a tutorial. Like an idiot. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Um. Ah! Hello. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is more like it. Huh? Whoa. Okay, come on. Yeah, thank you. Come on, let me through. Thank you. Oof. 
Last thing I need is a spear in the face. I don't need that. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Shit, dead end. Okay, good. Whoa, hi. Continue walking. Come on, dead end. Shit, this way. I can understand why she would have. Oh shit! Ow! 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 ow. Perhaps now is not the time! God damn it! Uh, hi. Yeah, get me out of here. Ooh. Come on. Oh shit. Dead end? Um, maybe? I don't know. Uh, um, hi, you must be undying, how you doing? Um, okay then, sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Gomer, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Slim Shady? Well, here we... Oh! Oh, hello, cool! Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Hmm, garbage. Just garbage. Okay. Huh. And falls into the bottom of the abyss below. All of this fills you with de de determination. Okay. Huh. Wow. Bicycle. Oh, hey, you look different. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Huh. Hey. Seems like a regular training dummy. You want to beat it up? Nah, not really. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Hmm? What? Did that thing just guts man's ass me? Ha ha ha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said! Horrible! Shocking! Unbelievable! It spooked them right out of their dummy! Human! I'll scare your soul out of your body! Mad dummy blocks the way. Uh, let's talk. You talk to the dummy! Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Ah, hi! Ah, whoa, hi. Oh, dear. Ow! You dummies! What are you aiming your magic attacks? Oh! Let's talk. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Oh dear. Hi! <laughs> Bossing around its bullets. Okay, let's keep trying to talk. Uh huh. Yay! Oh dear. <laughs> okay, this is fun! Doesn't seem much for conversation. I stand in the window of. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store! <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh dear. Oh wow, hi. <laughs> Glares into glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. I'll keep trying to talk to him. No one is happy with this. Then everything I want will be whatever. Haha! <laughs> Getting caught in all over the dialogue box. <laughs> no one is happy with this. I guess that'll. Oh dear. 
Hee <laughs> hee. It's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. I love this. <laughs> Again. Oh dear. Gotcha! Getting dialogue all. Okay. Seriously, man. No one is happy with this. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Get over there. You hit him. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Getting cotton all over the dialogue box. You talk to the dummy, does it. No one is happy with this. Uh-huh. Here we go. There you go. Oh, wow. That's a good shot. Uh, can we, like, seriously? Let's just hit him. Feeble, feeble, feeble! Maybe I just need Maybe I could just smack him around myself? Because he is a training dummy. Nah, let's keep talking. I want to talk to you. Uh, foo, foo. Hi! Hey guys! Oh shit, dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how he said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired! They're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Lying on people that aren't garbage! Can I go worse? Fill the room. Oh dear. Doesn't seem much. No one is happy with this. Dummy butts! Magic missile! <laughs> An armless ska dance. Yeah, okay. Of course, he doesn't seem much. Dummy butts! Try again! Oh, Jesus. I got hit a couple of times. Okay, talk again. Here. Oh my! Hi! Ah! Okay. Uh, actually, let's use an item. Nice cream. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Oh dear! I still hit you with. Whoa! Shit! Whoa! Wow! There you go. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Dude. Hi. I'm out of knives. You only had one knife. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. Forever. <laughs> No, I won't. What the heck is this? Acid rain? Oh, forget it! I'm out of here! Okay. Hi. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh, that was okay. He was trying to kill me. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no! Oh, Dude, it's okay, you kind of saved my life. I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Guilt trip much? Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Uh, uh, filled with a de determination. Ah, yes. Ah, so that was a boss battle of a thing, I guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. So what's this? Luke, A Luke Acres, East Hotland, wherever Temi Village. Okay. What's up in here? Oh, hey. Hi! <gasps> oh, you really came! 
Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Okay. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Sure. Uh, what you have? I don't know what you would eat. You're a ghost. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, that's gotta be... Can you imagine? You, you, you think you're gonna take a big bite of a sandwich and you phase through it? That's gotta hurt your teeth, man. Oh, never mind. Oops. <laughs> After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, sure. Okay, follow my lead. Punk. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when I want to get when you want to get up, I guess. So we just lie here, lying on the ground. And I'll move. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. This is a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. But it's about a boy who's half a gem and half human. Oh, wait, that's Steven Universe. Hmm. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Ooh. Hey, books. Oh, no, CDs. I'm sorry. Gula Day music. Ah! Oh! No, I don't want to play it. Spook Wave. Nah. Spook Tunes. Eh, maybe later. Spook Tunes are dead. <laughs> what is this? It's locked. Whatever it is, it's locked. Hi. What are you guys? It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. Long journey extends in front of you. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Really? Are we engaging in Pokemon sneak peek with snails? So snaileth Sambiol. I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. <laughs> hey, it looks like a race. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Can we get beyond Thunder Snail? <laughs> Snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Two, one, go. Uh, it's not moving. I think I've over encouraged it. It's on fire. Um, race end. The blue wins. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Um. Do you have the money to try again? Yeah, I do. Uh, let's try again. Two. One. You can do it. You can do it, snail! Do it! Encourage! Okay. Don't encourage it too much. It'll set out. It'll catch on fire. I'm losing. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Damn. You both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I could be here for way too long. What's this? Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blue Family Snail s Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Um. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Um, um, yeah, your, your, your main customer disappeared one day. That was because of me. I, I feel bad now. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, 
Yeah, so I think we're gonna leave that here for now. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, facing the awkward of of killing Toriel now. Yeah, very much awkward and and yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, you could do the usual. You can like, subscribe, leave a comment. Constructive criticism is always nice. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian. Signing off! Oh, Toria! Why did I do that? <laughs>